Hi, I'm Derek with WeBoost. If you've got a drive sleek, but your vehicle has a non-ferrous body, like aluminum, how do you mount the outside antenna? I'll show you how in this video. If your vehicle has an aluminum or non-metallic roof, you can still mount the outside antenna easily. An adhesive disc is provided with your antenna. If you need an adhesive disc, just give our customer support team a call and we'll ship you an adhesive disc free of charge. The adhesive disc will allow you to mount the outside antenna on an aluminum surface. However, if your vehicle is made of fiberglass or glass, you'll need to provide a ground plane for the antenna to work properly. To install the adhesive disc, simply clean the area you've chosen for the antenna, at least 12 inches away from any other antennas and at least 6 inches away from any windows including sunroofs. Remove the clear film from the disc and press it securely in place. Then remove the white film from the top side of the disc and place the antenna on the disc. That's all there is to it. You can also mount the outside antenna on the trunk of your car as another option. Understand that this will decrease the performance of your booster, however. If at all possible, we recommend mounting the outside antenna on the roof of the vehicle for best performance. To remove the disc from your vehicle, clean the area around the adhesive disc to remove all dust and contaminants that might scratch or damage the paint during adhesive removal. Remove as much adhesive as possible by hand or with a clean, non-marring plastic scraper. Spray turtle wax, tar, and bug remover on the adhesive. Follow the directions listed on the back of the bottle. Using a microfiber or soft terry cloth, gently rub the adhesive until removed. Buff with a clean, dry microfiber or terry cloth. If any adhesive residue remains, repeat the process. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.